Okay everybody, today we're going to show you a trick on how to crack those really hard to germinate seed. Okay guys, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to need obviously is some seed, a water bottle with some distilled water, some plastic bags, paper towels, paper plates, some sandpaper in a roll, ink pen, some peroxide, 3%, and that's it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our sandpaper that's rolled in reverse, scratchy side in. We're going to tape it up and after we roll it up we're going to take the hard to crack seed and put them inside that sandpaper roll. We're going to cap our fingers off on each side and we're going to shake it for just, I don't know, maybe a minute. Now the reason why we do this guys is after a while a seed sets long enough it'll completely dry up and it'll be even harder to open up. So. Um, this sandpaper helps to break that excess skeleton down and let the moisture get in the seed a whole lot faster. Alright, so that's it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to take our seed and we're going to drop them in some distilled water overnight for about 24 hours. Also guys, I'd like to mention this water is around 80-85 degrees and after we put the seed in here, we're going to put them up somewhere warm. Now while these seeds set, we're going to take our spray bottle and add 16 ounces of sterile water along with a 1 4 teaspoon of hydrogen peroxide. And after we let them sit for 24 hours, uh, most of the time what happens is the seed will sink all the way to the bottom and most of the good ones will stay there. Sometimes they'll float in the middle and sometimes they'll float all the way to the top. And usually we'll discard the ones that float to the top and keep all the ones that sank to the bottom, but it's okay if you just dump them all in the paper towel. It really don't matter at this point. So now because the seed are wet, they're going to clump up. Now what we're going to do is take a paper towel and spread them out even. And uh, this next step really doesn't matter. You can wet the paper towel before or after, but we're just going to fold it up really nice so it'll retain some water and sit it inside of a paper plate. Now guys, this step here is where most people make their first mistake. You cannot get this paper towel too wet. I can't stress enough about the moisture and how important it is. So what you want to do, we do, is just squeeze out the water. Um, all the excess we don't um, you want to, when you squeeze this paper towel you don't want any water coming out of it but you still want it damp now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to take that damp paper towel and we're going to put it in our plastic baggie that's labeled um, you guys already know what the deal is we have the seed and date and all that stuff here on the baggie and what we're going to do is leave this plastic bag up and we're not going to close it and we're going to put it back on this paper plate you don't really have to if you don't want to but we leave it on the paper plate and um, we put it somewhere warm, preferably on a heating pad or refrigerator or something like that. So basically what you're shooting for here guys is just so something a little bit warmer than room temperature and make sure it's pretty dark. Now the results can vary guys but with hard to crack seed you want to lay them up for 7 to 14 days. You want to check them every 24 hours for sprout. You also want to keep a check on that paper towel make sure there's no discoloration and also the taproot uh, there's no discoloration there as well which that hydrogen peroxide should prevent. Again the key here is moisture guys you don't want that paper towel to dry out but you definitely don't want it to mold or get too wet. Now guys if you try this method we're sure you'll be happy. We've cracked seed that's um, 8, 10, even 12 years old that's been really hard to crack but using this method we've been able to get some of our heirlooms open back up and save more seed. Um, we use this only on hard to crack seed. It's not something we do all the time but it sure does help on those little stubborn seed. So guys, thank you for watching, and we will see you again in the next video. Okay guys, thank you for watching. If you don't mind, click that notification bell so you don't miss anything.